hey guys what's up so many of you are asking so what is three parent baby how can three uh, parents combine together to make a baby what are mitochondrial diseases and how does ivf come into picture so yes it is a reality and technology today as of this date allows you to have a three parent baby and uh, it happens usually with mitochondrial diseases and i have to explain basic biology to you so whenever the zygote forms when sperm and ovum combines so cytoplasm comes from mother side okay so mitochondria are present in cytoplasm so that is why mitochondria has its own dna and that is only transmitted from mothers to both daughters and sons father can never transmit his or his mitochondrial his or her, uh, his mitochondrial dna to either son or daughter so if if your mother has some issues in mitochondria any diseases like lot of diseases are there i can't name them it will be beyond the scope of this lesson but if your mother has some mitochondrial diseases so her mitochondria can be replaced by a mitochondria of a healthy donor but now you have three dna one is your father one is your mother and the third is donor that is why you are a three parent baby okay so just like ivf happened like louis joy brown was the first person to be born by ivf now she herself is a mother okay so similarly after 20 20 years you will find uh, people who are like had three parent anyway so let us see why it is in news so a 5 month old boy in uk is the first baby to be born and their dna from three human beings this is the first time it is happening in entire earth like it did not happen ever before ever ever is the word i am using and we are here for last 2 million years homo genus and uh, it is a very controversial technique because people don't like this religious issues are there like how can you have three babe parents but if you are having rare genetic mutations why do you have to suffer you can become healthy and it has been only legally approved in the uk and lot of controversies there and people still don't know whether it is good or bad but anyway let us see the process so some mitochondrial disease like optic neuropathy etc they are passed to children from mother and what you do is a small amount of faulty dna which mother has in the mitochondria it is replaced by healthy dna from a second woman who is a donor and baby will inherit the genes from two mothers and one father in this case it is a very very special form of ivf i'll make a separate lesson on ivf but you have to understand and uh, experts as like doctor scientist etc they are in favor they have no issues but society at large is having moral crisis religion are coming and a lot of uh, concerns have been raised now let us talk about the mitochondrial diseases what is mitochondria mitochondria is a cellular organelle which acts as a power house of the cell atp production happens here cellular respiration happens here so if you, if mitochondria has defects so it will make your life living hell okay it, it is a very very bad disease to have very few people have it very small number of children have it but since now the technology allows them not to have this disease then why not we can cure them so it is strike in childhood and only mother can pass it as i have already explained you the biology father cannot it is impossible for father to transfer his mitochondrial dna to son or daughter okay so mitochondrial diseases will have in childhood they will get worse slowly and before you are 18 or adult you will die so that is why it is very bad and the parts of the body that will be affected like jisko bhi zyada energy chahiye hogi that will be the worst affected part it will include your brain it will include your muscles heart liver since mitochondria is the power house of the cell so it will like literally kill you because there is no energy production so lays disease progressive infantile polydystrophy barth syndrome uh, optic neuropathy etc these are some of the diseases which happens like they might ask you but i don't think they will and there are few tests to detect this so what you can do is uh, like at 12 weeks of pregnancy uh, you have chorionic villi okay it is inside in the fetus like from mother side there are these villus so you can just sample them and see then there is amniocentesis also sorry for the spelling mistake here so at 14 to 20 weeks what you do is you go to amnion cavity you take some fluid out and you see if there is any defect or not almost all the diseases can be identified down syndrome other syndrome also can be identified now this is your typical mitochondria okay so they are small structure they are inside our cells there are trillions of them they provide us energy and they have their own set of 37 genes which are separate from 20000 genes so out of 20000 just 37 genes are here but as you can see they have their own ribosome so they are a cell inside the cell they have their dna rna as you can see they produce atp as you can see here atp synthase let's not go into detail just remember they are the power house of the cell they produce atp and they are the only cellular organelle obviously nucleus is there which have their own dna like you will not find dna in any other cellular organelle now what is ivf ivf is basically you give pills you give hormones to females 
so that their ovary becomes hyper stimulated once you have hyper stimulated the ovary they will start to produce 5 eggs 10 eggs at a time okay now you take collect these eggs from ovaries whenever there is ovulation on the 14th or 15th day of cycle now you take these eggs out and you fertilize the eggs with the sperm of the father or the donor as the case may be then these embryos are matured outside in a test tube that is why they are also called as test tube babies because the formation of embryo the starting of life happens outside okay now it is happening in a laboratory now after 2 to 6 days when you are growth and there are at 8 8 say 16 stage 32 stage so after 2 to 6 days they are transferred either to the same mother or in case of if you might have heard of surrogacy they can be transferred to different mother also but surrogate surrogate mother will not transfer her genes she is just a carrier okay so if the successful pregnancy is established usually it leads to production of twins or triplets etc ivf is very notorious for that so very high chance of becoming twins because you transfer so many embryos that because you fear that some of them might not survive ivf is a type of art ART means assistive reproductive technology and it is used for treatment of infertility gestational surrogacy and so on and so forth now let us talk about mitochondrial replacement therapy that is the three parent technique so now women has a faulty mitochondrial dna they want to have healthy children okay everybody is entitled to have treatment if it is available so what they will do is so they can opt for ivf using eggs from a healthy donor okay but two experiment techniques can could allow affected women to have healthy babies but they are still genetically related to them because out of 20000 gene only 37 are in mitochondria right so if you want either if you have a defective mitochondria one thing you can do is you can have a completely separate donor usme utna issue nahi hoga but the religion but mother wants to have her genes also so she will get her mitochondria replaced by somebody else and then she will have like three parents the baby will have three parents so first method is pro nuclear transfer that is pnt and both mother and donor eggs are fertilized with the father's sperm and before the eggs can split into early stage embryos the chromosomes inside them are removed those from the donor egg are discarded and they are finally replaced with the chromosome from the mother's egg so as you can see first uh, these are the unhealthy mitochondria and parents nuclear material is removed now parents nuclear material is placed inside the donor cell now donors nuclear material is destroyed but they have healthy mitochondria now and finally as you can see it is healthy mitochondria and father and mother zygote is there so finally you have donors fertilized egg which is fertilized by same father as above and you have three paper, like here the mother was there so this blue is represented by the father's sperm red is representing the mother's uh, cyto my mother's genes and these orange balls are representing the donors mitochondria so do you realize now that you have three parents and uh, that is how it is done so this is the simple word this is called as mitochondrial replacement therapy this is called as a three parent technique now let us see more here so method 2 is maternal spindle transfer so in this like doctors use standard ivf treatment to collect eggs from the mother they remove the nucleus from one of the mother's egg and they transfer it to a healthy donor egg that has its own nucleus removed now what happens is now there is a new egg see now sperm is not involved so first you replace her nucleus with a new nucleus and then you bring the sperm in the picture now this reconstituted egg has all the mother's healthy nuclear dna approximately 99.8% of her genes plus it also have healthy mother's mitochondria as you can see here ठीक है नाउ इट इज फर्टिलाइज्ड बाय फादर से स्पर्म सो आइदर यू कैन डू स्पर्म फर्स्ट और यू कैन डू स्पर्म सेकंड सो बेसिकली देयर आर द टू टेक्नोलॉजीज नोबडी इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू डिटेल बट आई थॉट आई विल इंक्लूड देम नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट फ्यू फीचर्स ऑन देम सो ह्यूमन लाइक अब आप क्या कर सकते हो आपने आज तो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया रिप्लेसमेंट ढूंढा है टुमारो व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन रिप्लेस आई कलर यू कैन रिप्लेस हाइट यू कैन रिप्लेस स्किन कलर यू कैन रिप्लेस हेयर कलर यू कैन डू व्हाटएवर यू वांट ऑन द नेम ऑफ यूजेनिक्स because everything is controlled by dna in the cell nucleus procedure will not change this nuclear dna as of now okay but there is a ban on altering nuclear dna remains in place right now there is a ban on altering nuclear dna but what if 10 years down the line there is a technology so where do you draw the line so women who donate their mitochondria they have to be anonymous and they have zero right zero right over the children the donor only contributes dna that is in the mitochondria and it is less than 0.2% of the total that is why it should be 100% there there should be i support it like there should be three parent babies because at the end of the day every mother deserves a healthy child 
but now let us see what are the objections like people don't know there are a lot of ethical concerns three babies you, how can you have some unexpected problem people are not yet born they are not deciding they want to have three babies or not okay now mitochondria people don't understood them completely we don't know what can be the consequences and uh, like uh, some scientists think that it should be understood more better before they are legalized then obviously there are religious objection catholics church like they oppose this mitochondrial transfer because a fertilized egg from the mother is destroyed in the process okay and catholic also says that it introduces between mother and father dilutes parenthood so these are religious objections which are there to um, um, like mitochondrial placement therapy so i hope you have understood this thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day